What's going on everybody, it's Conti here with another video. How to add a sepia tone effect to a video file in DaVinci Resolve 15. In my new project file, I'm going to open up an MP4 file to apply a sepia tone to. In the edit window of your new project file, go to file, import file and import media. Inside my media pool, you can see an MP4 file now inserted. I'm going to left click, hold my mouse button down as I drag this file to my project timeline. Left click on this new video clip you have on the timeline so that a red container appears around this to show that it is selected. Go to the color icon at the bottom of your DaVinci Resolve window. Inside the color window, left click on the RGB mixer icon. Red, green and blue output sections should appear. Modify the numbers under each of the red, green and blue levels as follows. Under red output, you want minus 1.14 for red, minus 1.28 for the green and minus 1.23 for blue. Underneath green output, set the red to minus 1.28 green to minus 1.63, blue to minus 1.33 and finally underneath blue output set the red column to minus 1.53, set green to minus 1.16 and the last one blue will be set to minus 2. Ensure monochrome is unticked and preserve luminance is ticked. Go to the bottom of your screen to click on the Fusion icon. Inside the new Nodes window which appears, left click once on Media In 1. This should now be highlighted inside a red container. If you can't see the nodes at all, simply left click on the Nodes icon at the top which should then turn white and should present the two nodes below. With your Media In 1 node selected, go to Effects Library left click on the arrow next to tools, left click on blur and left click once on glow. To the side you should see an inspector window open showing the settings for your glow effect. Filter should be set to blend underneath tools, lock X and Y should be ticked, glow size 3.9, glow 0 0.827, Clipping Mode Frame, Blend 0.2 and Apply Mode Normal. With your Glow node still selected with the red highlight around it, go to Effects Library, Effects Tools and go to Film and then left click once on Film Grain. This time in your Inspector window, for your Film Grain 1 node, ensure that complexity is set to 8 Alpha Multiply is ticked, Log Processing is ticked, Random Seed is set to 0, Time Lock is unticked, Monochrome is ticked, Lock Size X and Y is ticked, Size 0 0.8, Strength 0 0.0315, Roughness 0 0.468 and Offset minus 0 0.058. The CP effect also works if you were to have the Film Grain 1 node and the Glow 1 node the other way around in between the Media In 1 and Media Out 1 nodes. As long as these two nodes are in between the input and output, the same effect should be applied. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. To support this channel please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.